Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hey. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. Um, this is a part two video to my law school questions type thing. So if you haven't seen part one, I would probably recommend you go see that one first and then come back here. I'll put the link to it somewhere so you guys can e easily find it and stuff like that. Um, before I get into my video though, I want to do a quick PSA because in my last video I was talking about um, some notes that I was gonna you know make available for you guys um, and I received like one or two like left field emails and I was just like okay um, and the reason I want to talk about that is because obviously when I did the video I said I was gonna offer that service sure whatever um, to give out the notes but obviously as I sent an email back I needed to figure out how many people were gonna be interested in buying the notes because if there was just one or two people I don't know that I would have waste, not wasted my time but I would have gone out of my way to go to a photocopying place you know photocopy it with good quality send it out like if it was just one or two people it may not have been worth my while and I maybe would have spoken to those people like one-on-one -on, -one on how I could maybe take the, like I would have made some kind of other arrangement um, I do have a job I do have a job so I'm somewhere from 8 o'clock to like 7 p.m. every single day and in order to find out how much it would have cost me you know what pause I'm just gonna show you guys what my notes look like right so that I can have a visual demonstration and I don't have to like respond to any other like left emails this is the way my notes are made I do um, a3 I think these are a3 sheets spider diagram type things where I do everything in certain colors I highlight what's important um, I literally have one for every single topic some of them are double-sided and I will show you there's like I don't think you can see there's close to like 60 or something sheets in here so it's quite freaking thorough now so in order to figure out how to photocopy all of these it actually takes a lot of work so when i said i was going to make these notes available it was more like okay if people are actually interested because i know some people only work with types notes some people like you know need it on their laptop like it's just everybody's different some people don't do well with color my handwriting might be tough to read like i didn't know if it was something people would actually be interested in so Obviously, I was waiting to get feedback and when I say I have a job, it means I can't actually go to these places every single day and it's a lot of stuff and you know, I, I'm not even making any money off of this, like I was actually going to sell them for 15k to make 3k but actually it turns out they actually cost 17k to photocopy. So like it's it's just a whole thing, so long story short, if you know you're going to be sour with your attitude or you have a bit of a problem please just you know miss me there's an unsubscribe button there's an unfollow button like there's just so many things like obviously I'm doing this because I know when I was in law school like everybody's notes was just useful to me but at the end of the day if you're super 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 stressed out because you feel like you're lagging behind on your bar two revision that's not my business or my problem like don't take that out on me so I'm just you know trying to provide the most information that I can the best way that I can as quickly as I can so just don't come for me because I'm not looking for you or checking for you or any of that stuff anyway these are the notes now that you guys have kind of seen them a little bit better Woo! they are more they are for bar two not for bar one and there's a lot of them so yeah if you want like I don't really know how I'm gonna make this thing easy because everybody's all over the place and I don't want to just photocopy a bunch and then I don't end up like giving them to people because I would just be out of pocket and that's annoying so yeah anyway you have my email so I'm gonna answer the questions from law, for law school that I got and I'm gonna try and do them in like topic based because a few of you had like the same sorts of questions um, and the first thing I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna focus on accommodation a little bit better um, now there are the places that you guys were asking me what I recommend there are so many places that are newer so then they were they were built after I left so I don't actually know where they are where they're located you know what what the facilities are I have no idea the only ones I can properly comment on are Zen Garden which is where I stayed um, which I've explained to you guys in my previous video so I don't want to go into again about the chef and the room size and all of that stuff 
Um, Lovitos is another place that I got questions about. Lovitos is literally right opposite school, so it's very convenient in terms of distance. I never saw the room, but Lovitos is also somewhere where people have is also a place where a lot of people go and eat pretty much every day so when you walk in you kind of just walk into like a bar imagine like a bar in Nigeria so you walk into like a bar type thing and um, people are just there a lot of the time and then I think if you go up the stairs to the side or you go around the back that's where the bedrooms are um, I know it's significantly let me not say significantly but I know it's cheaper than Zen I don't know how much but I know it's cheaper than Zen I mean I I don't necessarily you know, the, if you Google the names of these places, their phone numbers will be there and you can just call them and find out how much it's going to cost. Like, it's not very difficult to do, but I can tell you what, I mean, for those of you who can't go there, I can tell you what it's like, like, what it would look like and stuff like that. Um, for me, food is a big thing and so I needed somewhere that offered me the option of, like, having proper food because I hated Lovito's food, like... But I just have a very sensitive stomach, like, I just eat, I, I eat different, so if you know that you... If you went to boarding school in Nigeria or something and you're used to just like, mm, then fine. I always lived at home, so I'm very, I'm a very, very, very fussy eater. So food was a big thing for me, and that's why Zen has a massive um, thumbs up. Um, the only other place that I recommend it's called why is why is Sea Garden coming up in my head? I don't think it was called Sea Garden, but the name will be down here, and that's the one that I I, I mentioned in the other video about having like a little kitchenette and stuff which I thought would be useful for people staying in bar two for people staying in bar one Zen and Lovitos is absolutely fine anywhere else I think there was Elizabeth, is it Eliz Elizabeth Court is the place it's Elizabeth Court Elizabeth Court that's the one that has the kitchenette and everything anywhere else I don't actually know those were really the only places that were popping when I was there so that's those are the only places I can recommend Lovitos and Elizabeth Court are right next to each other pretty much and it's opposite the school and zen i loved it wasn't opposite the school but i just kind of i also liked that we were a little bit away like i just and it was always mad like we threw all the parties and stuff so it was quite lit um the next thing i had a question about payment for accommodation obviously this varies per accommodation but usually you would have to transfer some money to their account so if you don't have any like nigerian banking or anything i mean you could probably contact them to find out if they have any kind of alternative banking or if you can write a check that's probably what would have to happen so you probably have to get somebody in nigeria who you can write who can help you write a check and you know d deposit in that person's account or do a transfer that's the way i know that i paid when my parents paid um i got another question about bar one i'm gonna okay let me just talk broadly about like actual material like the material that I'm gonna tell you the material you should get and then what you actually need to study for the exam because those were the other questions I got material that you need to get for bar one you need the blue Bible like I said the last time and for me if you have the blue Bible that's pretty much enough but there will also be like maybe one or two Q&A books that the examiners actually get the questions from so it's useful to see the question and the answer and understand these things like they explain the concept especially in like I think it's land law they explain the concepts very very well so when the question is twisted especially with the land use act and governor's consent and um all of those section 28 29 kind of areas is this, is this 28 29 that's governor's content of the acquisition i don't know please um but anyway the parts that have to do with the governor's consent and all that stuff that like they kind of twist it in the exam sometimes so those books explain the concept very 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 well so you would understand better that and the blue bible and you know you're good to go um that's what you need to get for bar two they will give you a list of books at the beginning of the year i don't want to give you the list of books they gave me in my time because those may not be the books that are being used now the way i figured out the best books for me was to keep your your ear to the streets and when i say keep your ear to the streets i mean you need to find one friend who like goes to all the classes who is always there who listens and everything because they can probably give you a better idea of the books that are more in tune with the way the teacher is teaching and actually cover the topics so I would just ask oh what book do you recommend for corporate write that down and for me books I didn't always buy the authentic books from the library I went to like TBS so those are like the fake books but I wanted to get a lot of books and what usually happens is maybe one page will be missing or something and you can usually like for me I was lucky I have a lot of lawyers in my family so I already had the authentic books in their libraries so I could always go and you know read up on those 
so I wasn't too fussed. So I would just get the books. They're like three, four thousand naira cheaper, and I would just have every single book. So whatever I needed to reference, whatever I needed to check, I wanted to have my copy at home. Sorry, man, my dog. I wanted to have my own copy at home. So yeah, when it comes to books, I would definitely say just ask around and see what everybody else is using because you should be more concerned with making sure your information is entirely with everybody else's information and less so with having the best information because it's not that's not what the exam is about. The exam is about giving the examiner what they want to hear and what they want to read. When it comes to exams and revising for exams, it's especially bar two can be super 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 overwhelming like just oh my god look at all of this stuff how am i going to get it in time for me i started making my notes in april um but i didn't really start taking it seriously till may but that's because i'm a, i'm a quick note taker and i knew exactly what i was doing and i knew like how i was breaking down my topics so let me just kind of give an example this is let me give a topic that i kind of under, i understand Okay, I'm gonna use these ones. So this is shares for corporate law, and I basically like broke it down shares and debentures, and then I did um, classes that, like classes of shares. Like I literally went through every single thing, wrote down what I thought was necessary. Like it spills over to the back page. I then I highlighted when I was when I was actually revising. I then like highlighted particular words. So as I'm reading or if I'm looking at it before my exam, certain words are like jumping out at me. And in the morning of my exam, my friends and I literally were using these. Like these were our cram sheets on the morning because the exams are 3 p.m. So we would meet at 7 a.m. and literally go through each of my like sections and cram um, this is an example for like leases oh I can't even yeah this is leases like leases is a big topic so I think there's like three sheets for this this one is recovery of premises no nope, this is contract of sale and conveyancing so property law this one was long I hated making this I remember like this just has like oh my god I mean, but yeah, I vividly remember the morning of my exams. These babies literally saved my life and they were my cram sheets. Um, those were the majority of the questions I got, you know, how to study, how to pay, what to study. And oh, yes, by the way, before your exam, they're going to try and tell you that the way you've been studying is BS. It's not true. Or they'll tell you that, oh, don't rely on exam papers, rely on exam papers. Because if there's anybody more lazy than a burnt out law student, it's the teachers of Nigerian law school. They can't be bothered to make up new questions, so they repeat questions. So if you've done every single past paper, you have seen your exam. Trust and believe me. Um, one more thing with these notes, I don't have any ethics ones because truth is I actually started studying for ethics the night before my exam um, because I mean I had grazed grazed and I kind of brushed through it earlier but it just all seemed like common sense to me and I, I mean I can't go into too much into detail about that exam but I was just blessed let's just say I was really blessed um, I left it a bit to last minute so I didn't really have time but I was absolutely fine and it seemed like something I'll be able to brush through and I was and I'm quite a quick crammer so it was just really all good. Um, so yeah I know I rambled through this video I just filmed a different video before this and I'm heading out so I wanted to film this video as quickly as possible but those really were the main questions I got you know in different variations and I hope I've answered it and I will be like on my email i just really wanted to see how many people were interested in these before i you know bothered if i was going to stress myself about because like it's on cardboard and it's not very easy to photocopy and i tried to photocopy it a few times and it wasn't coming out clear enough and obviously if i'm gonna like make you guys pay money for it i want it to like be legible so that's you know and it's i do it with marker and stuff so you know some of it's light blue ink and it's it's just obviously quite complicated but yeah that's where i've been and that's what i've been doing and that's why the replies you know took so long but obviously don't be rude and if you're coming with rudeness honestly sweat squad please unsubscribe and unfollow because i am not here for that shit but yeah love you guys see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching this video and for your support and all that good stuff bye